Welcome to the very first episode of the Here at First Insider. I'm Jamie Young. And I'm Ryan Mitchell. Hereatfirst.com exists to connect Christian music fans with the artists and the music that they love. We not only do this through our website, but by making ourselves available through Facebook and Twitter. And now we're introducing Here at First Insider. Through this show, we'll be providing you with behind the scenes footage of some of our hereatfirst.com interviews, as well as music reviews. Here at First Insider exclusive performances, interviews, and sneak peeks of what's coming up each month on hereatfirst.com. But before we get rolling on this, let us introduce you to the Here at First Insider team. To be the best Christian music website, you have to have the best team. This is that team. Jamie Young, the boss. Jamie graduated from DePaul University with a major in psychology, which allows her to read minds and be the greatest boss the world has ever known. Ryan Mitchell, the geek. Ryan is a music education major from the University of Delaware. He's responsible for the website's videos, assorted media, and general geekiness. He also does the voiceovers. Phil, the socialite. Having majored in communications at Liberty University, Phil easily tackles the role of community and partnerships manager. Whatever that means. Working around the clock, this team ensures that you always have the inside scoop at Here at First Insider. February brings us releases from some of our favorite worship artists. Jackie Velasquez is back on February 7th with her new release, Diamond, and a week later, Audrey Assad releases her sophomore project, Heart. We've been listening to the CD in the office for a few weeks now, and we absolutely love it. We met up recently with Audrey at her label and found out all about the new album, so stay tuned to hearitfirst.com slash Audrey Assad for those videos. Also releasing that day is Hillsong United's Live in Miami CD and DVD. And releasing later in the month is Cutlass's new CD, Believer. We interviewed the guys at Disney's Night of Joy last September, and we were glad to know that they are just as excited about this project as we are. And releasing that same day, February 28th, is the debut CD from Same State. We've been bringing you acoustic videos with these guys, and you can stay tuned to hear the full album when it releases on February 28th. We love bringing you exclusive videos, and we want to know what you would like to see. Be sure to head to facebook.com slash hear it first to tell us what you want to see more of. February is going to see the release of some great albums. We've had the privilege of listening to some of these albums for the past few weeks, and I'm going to share with you a little bit of what I've been hearing. First up on Valentine's Day, February 14th, Audrey Assad's new album comes out. It's called Heart. This is a great, great album. She is a wonderful talent. Um, you can really hear it on this album too. Very clean vocals, the production is wonderful. Um, very reminiscent of the 70s, I think they were probably using a lot of vintage microphones, maybe some vintage guitar amps, mixed in with some Rhodes key sounds, some whirly sounds. Really makes for a wonderful album, so make sure you pick this one up. On that album, maybe my favorite song is uh, one called One Me Over. It's a toe tapper for sure, four on the floor drums, there's an awesome synth lead line in there. If you're listening to this album in your car and you get to that track, be careful you don't start speeding. Coming up a couple weeks later, Cutlass comes out with their new album, Believer, on February 28th. This album is full of what Cutlass fans have come to appreciate from these albums. It opens up with lots of guitar harmonies, big guitar hooks, and then about halfway through the album, you get songs like Hero and Identity, and even if that are more inspirational, ballads. So there's something on this album for everybody. This album is going to be great uh, for taking to the gym, putting in your headphones, doing your workout. Also for up and coming guitar players, you're going to want to sit down learn some of these guitar parts because they're very, very cool. Also coming out on February 28th is an album called Crave by the band For King and Country. This band consists of two brothers, Joel and Luke, who moved to Nashville, Tennessee from Australia. And this is a very, very good album. It is full of epic string parts, huge piano parts. It's like watching a movie score when you listen to this album. I can't recommend it enough. Some of my favorite tracks are Missing and one at the end called Fine Fine Life that has some of my favorite drum production in recent history. And there you have it. That's just a few of the albums that are coming out in February that we're looking forward to. To find out about even more releases, head on over to hearitfirst.com. 
There you can also visit the artist pages for all of the artists that we talk about on the show. We love bringing you awesome contests on hearitfirst.com and we're excited to announce that we're giving away 10 copies of the DVD Courageous. Be sure to head to hearitfirst.com slash contest to enter to win. On the streets, they put their lives on the line. But at home, they struggle to connect. You've been a good enough father. I want to be a good enough father. Now, honor begins at home. Courageous, now on Blu-ray and DVD. Hey, I'm Phil. I'm the community manager at hereatfirst.com. I'm responsible for things like Question of the Day, Song of the Night, and Throwback Thursday. You're not sure what those are? Join us on any of the links on your screen. Some of the great things that we've posted on hereatfirst.com's Facebook and Twitter this past month include a great video by Andrew Greer and Cindy Morgan where they both play ukuleles and sing the hymn, Turn Your Eyes Upon Jesus. One of my personal favorite hymns and sure to be one of yours. You definitely need to check out the video. Here at first.com forward slash Andrew Greer. Make sure to check it out, but I'll also be posting it a couple times in the month of February to make sure that you catch this fantastic video. Also coming out this past month on iTunes was Cutlass's brand new single, Carry Me to the Cross, off their new album, Believer, that's coming out this month in February. Make sure to check that out. Make sure to follow us on Twitter because we're always talking with some of the greatest artists of our generation in the Christian music industry, and you're going to want to join in on those conversations as well. Speaking of Twitter, we've got a brand new artist that just started a Twitter account. We debuted his music video on here at first.com back in January entitled Not Just Any Love. Make sure to follow him on Twitter with the username This Is Tide Water. Now, one of the great joys of my job is that I get to engage with fans from all over the world who love every kind of Christian music from Sandy Patty to the Newsboys. This month, my fan of the month is Julia Kitsing. She is a huge Newsboys fan and comments on pretty much every status that's related to the Newsboys. So shout out to you. Thanks so much for being a fan of here at first.com. We appreciate you. This is Phil with Phil Follows on here at First Insider. We'll see you next time. Thanks, Phil, and thank you for checking out the first ever Here at First Insider. Tune in at the end of February to find out what guests will be on our show and to see what's coming up on hereatfirst.com in March. And remember, you can hear it all at hereatfirst.com.